1956, when you think of a community like Minneapolis and St. Paul, black people lived primarily in two sections in the city, one on the north side and one on the south side. And each of those neighborhoods were rather um, limited in scope of residency. What I learned, and I think was a bit of a surprise, was the amount of discrimination that actually existed here. I became active with the NAACP. I also became engaged with the Urban League. And we learned very early about housing discrimination. Housing was a serious issue. Redlining was a very common practice here. And that's to draw a line around an area where you as a black person could live. And outside of that line, you could not. And in Minnesota, as in many other states, it didn't matter what your ability to pay was. What mattered was who you were. So we tested a lot of examples of white families going, looking for property, either for housing or apartments, black families doing the same, and found the clear pattern that black families were much more limited in being able to select based on income and ability than white families. But to realize the need to collect the data so that you could then present it to the legislature, recognizing that many of those legislators in 1960, 61, had never met a black person, had never had an opportunity to even talk to one. The other critical important activity following that was trying to get the information circulated among many groups that there was a fair housing bill, trying to change the mindset of the redlining and the attitude of real estate agents who denied black people an opportunity to buy property. In 19... 60, I was asked to lobby. I was also very active with the League of Women Voters. So they urged me to be engaged as a lobbyist for uh, fair housing. And I did that. We were able to pass the first fair housing law in the country in Minnesota, 1962. What you found was kind of a denial that the legislation had passed. And so it took quite a bit of time and energy to uh, encourage um, a change in behavior. Many African-American people who now could move out of the hood into the larger real estate community began to look for places where they could have regular garbage pickup, police protection, quality schools, and safety in their own communities. So there were people who now left the community, the black community, into other areas. Fair housing meant the fairness you could go into an agency and buy a house if you could afford it, wherever you want. You can go and rent an apartment wherever you want, as long as you can afford it. And the law in Minnesota in 1962 attempted to make that possible. But it really is still an issue.